Make sure that the appropriate shielding gas is attached to the rear of the power supply with a flow meter regulator. For this demonstration, we will be using argon set at a flow rate of around 20 CFH. Turn on the power supply. The switch is located on the rear panel. Set the remote contactor function to the remote position. Set the remote current function to the panel position. Select either AC or DC for the output current. DC will be used for this demonstration. Set the process function to the high frequency start TIG. Set the TIG mode function to slope. Scroll through the weld parameters with the arrow buttons. Select preflow and adjust the time to one second. Select hot start and adjust the amperage. 20 amps will be the setting for this demonstration. Select initial current and adjust the amperage. 20 amps will be the setting for this demonstration. Select upslope and adjust the time. One second will be the setting for this demonstration. Select the weld current and adjust the amperage. 125 amps will be the setting for this demonstration. Select downslope and adjust the time. Five seconds will be the setting for this demonstration. Scroll to Final Current and adjust the output to 20 amps. Select the post flow and adjust the post flow time. Five seconds will be the setting for this demonstration. Set the shielding gas flow rate by cycling the weld cycle and adjusting the flow meter for the desired flow rate. 20 CFH will be the setting for this demonstration. Hold the TIG torch close to the workpiece, but do not make contact with the tungsten. Depress the foot control until the arc starts and then release the foot control. The arc will ramp up to the preset weld current. To complete the weld cycle, depress the foot control again and hold it down until the weld current decreases to the final current level. Lifting your foot off the foot control will extinguish the arc. This concludes the instructions for the ArcMaster AC-DC welder power supply. For specific instructions on other weld modes and ArcMaster functions, please return to the menu at the beginning of this disk.